welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while since we uh, did a playthrough, but uh, I've decided to take a small break from projects because I've been working a lot on those. I've been uh, especially trained, which is the most recent Cars animation project that I've been working on. I've been doing that one pretty much for the last three weeks straight. Um, it's about halfway done with the animation process and all that so it's getting there we're getting close but uh, decided to take a small break and we are going to be doing a mod of the original painkiller game because uh, painkiller is kind of the hot topic for me and a, lar a rather large community um, this is the reload mod from Havcom Havcom has done a very good job with this mod there's a lot of new features um, that enhance the gameplay, a lot of balancing with enemies, uh, weapon placements, all that stuff. There's a bunch of new things that we'll discover and talk about along the way. Um, but yeah, very cool. This is the uh, 4.2 version on it, and he is actually working on 4.3 right now. I'm not sure when that's going to come out, but he is working on that one, so super cool. And there's another mod that is about to release um, the author said it was probably going to come out in April so I'm expecting it to be that but it is uh, a mod for overdose painkiller overdose and it pretty much does a lot of the same stuff that reload did for here it's just a lot of rebalancing uh, bug fixes adding new content like secrets or ch uh, actually I think the original Overdose game didn't have very many secrets at all, so yeah. He added a ton of secrets, just a lot of cool extra things that make the game a lot better than before. So, looking forward to that, and of course, as you all probably know by now, I, um, along with another friend and that community, are also all working together to create the remake that we were doing, Painkiller Revamped in Unreal Engine 5 so that's going really well too I'm having a lot of fun with that so yeah it's kinda of the it's kinda of all over the place for me and for the community right now so I finally decided to actually do a playthrough on my channel for reload because it it deserves uh, more recognition this game has definitely been spiced up a lot and it's a lot of fun so without further ado let's kinda of get in here and uh, go through some new things right here in the menu so right away you have a profile that you can go into and you can make your own profile or make multiple whatever but yeah the first list it just shows it wants a stat a stats I think the second list does as well yep and uh, list three has some extra features so you can enable some things um, I turned off the additional HUD features it just basically shows a bunch of ammo counters for all your weapons at the bottom I turned that off because it kind of is in the way a little bit I don't know I just I just like it better without it on so you can turn that off um, you can also do a few other things I guess there's gonna be more in the future for 4.3 maybe or something I don't know it's kind of future plans maybe I'm not too sure what these are here for but I guess we'll find out later when the mod finally or the the next update releases but uh, yeah so in the middle here we have a bunch of challenges um, that are just all here throughout the game so when you complete whatever the challenge is for each weapon here you can unlock different skins or different effects for each weapon um, and stuff like that so that's super cool um, just gives you more incentive and adds to the replay value as well because these challenges, it takes a lot like there's for this yeah you gotta rip apart more than 5,000 enemies um, morph into demon 50 times yeah they, they, there's there's a lot that you have to do for those so uh, but then something new in 4.2 that's super cool is that it ha the game now has its own achievement system. So much like you know Steam achievements and stuff like that, except 
this this is being tracked in its own game because this is a completely separate mod, um, which is super cool. And you have different tiers of achievements. So you have this the silver, gold, and platinum. There's nine platinum ones that are just super hard, or you have to do something like crazy to get them. So that's super cool. Um, I'll, I'm excited to see if he expands on those for 4.3 or not. Um, but yeah, so yeah, this is all new in this mod. Other than that, a lot of the other things are pretty much the same with the menu. Now, let's actually get into some gameplay. We'll go ahead and do the regular, and then later on we'll obviously do the expansion, because that is included in this as well. And there is a... <laughs> A separate campaign for uh, I, I don't know how many levels are in here but there is a third bonus campaign with bonus levels that he put in here and you have to play it on nightmare or above to unlock it which we will do we'll play on nightmare as he took out daydream because I mean that mode was pretty easy let's be honest um, so insomnia is the easiest one however if you do this uh, some of the things that are locked and the weapon upgrades are not available, which is no fun. These these are really cool. So We are going to do it on Nightmare So yeah, as you see All that stuff is now unlocked uh, stronger tougher enemies Alternative spawn points. So there's like stuff that's changed up with their spawns or different enemies will spawn to make it a little more difficult uh, less ammo in boxes and probably some other small tweaks that aren't mentioned, but other than that, let's get into it. All right, we'll go ahead and skip the cutscenes this time around because the cutscenes are pretty much the exact same as the original, and we've already seen those. So if you want to see them, there's you can look at my old series, or you can look at any other videos that are on it on YouTube. Um, but yeah, so here we are, first level cemetery. Now we have none of the cards, no gold, anything like that. Um, and the objective is the exact same as the first one, it's just finish the level. So, here we go. Alright. Immediately we are in a different area. Normally we just start over there, but we're actually in this little backwards yard right here. Super cool. Game runs super smooth. No hitches or anything like that. Which is always nice. And another cool feature, for those who don't know, he has also added in a bunch of custom animations for your weapons. So, uh, there's different ones that play when you pick up a new weapon, and then there's just idle animations that play if you wait here long enough. I'm going to see if I can get this one to do it. There he goes. There might be a keybind to do it too, I, I don't know, but check that out. That's super cool. And then here you go, this is what would play when you pick up a weapon theoretically. That's super cool. Also, there's like interactive bosses too, so you can see them walking around in the background until you actually fight them in their own level. Super cool. Otherwise, it's the same old painkiller. There's dynamic lights, more dynamic lights. These now cast light, which is super cool. There's uh, improved sounds as well, so like the en the enemies, like it actually reacts to their armor and you can hear it. Hear that? Very nice. Um, there's also some enemies too that are a little bit stronger than before and those enemies they have a hitbox on their head that you can hit and if you hit that 
it'll kill him much faster, faster, which is nice as well. Now, if you also notice on the HUD, there's a few changes as well. So at the top, on the left side where it says 16, there's a little tiny zero up in the corner. I believe that is the amount of times that you go into demon mode. I think. And then on the other side as well. well I guess they both say 16, sorry. I, on both sides there's a little tiny zero in the corner. One of them is your demon mode amount. And the other one, I forget exactly what it is. But it, it also has a specific counter for something. Which is nice, so that way you don't have you don't lose track or whatever. Um, I believe there's still five. Yeah, there's five secrets in here. Some of them are the same. A couple are different, which is nice. Okay, let's keep going. You can hear the laser kind of cutting through metal instead of just cutting through flesh as well, which is cool. Oh, that was a bad idea. There we go. <sighs> also, actually, a difference, too. Um, I think he pushed the shotgun pickup a little further back, because normally I'd have it by now. I think the game originally gives you to you right away, so... Just a little bit different change of pace. Okay, um... Yeah, that's still the same secret. All right, don't mess this up. I'm gonna save. If I remember right, yeah. And then climb up the the light post. Oh, I fell over. I got the secret, but missed the the cross. There we go. Can't forget the cross. Let me get all these. Oh. Is all the gold that we can so that we can afford all the cards when we get them. There we go. See if any more of these urns are sitting around. Yep. All right. Or him up. Oh, souls all the way over here. Oh yeah, this attack still is a thing as well. It's not the best though. Like you gotta hit a very specific spot. Like you gotta be right on them, otherwise it just misses. It's not the greatest, but it's okay. Oh yeah, the uh, slow-mo events and whatnot are super cool as well. And uh, yeah, as that little text box there says, there's artifacts that you can find in secret areas and whatnot, and there's different types. So like, on the left side there, where all that black stuff is, you'll see all the different artifacts that you've collected and whatnot and they all trigger different random slow-mo effects that happen the more that you find it's super cool wait let me make sure i'm not missing any breakable items 
There's one. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I think I think these guys. There you go. So yeah, if you hit them in the head, they die in one shot, which is nice. And it is random, it doesn't, um, there's nothing specific you have to do to trigger it, it just happens at random. Oh boy, I don't want to do that yet. That is something I hope he kind of does add in, is for 4.3 maybe, is to have some more control over your demon mode trigger instead of just randomly... Or not randomly, but instead of just immediately triggering after you pick up 66 souls. Because it can kind of feel like a waste if there's like two enemies left and you pick it up and, you know, whatever, it's gone. But it's not a huge deal still. It, like, there's, there's still some bit of control you have over it, so it's not the end of the world. But um, I guess I'll break all these real quick. Um, another thing with demon mode too, so there is a bit of changes to it as well. So the rate at which you can, I guess, fire or do your primary attack is slower. And then you have a you have an alternate ability as well, where if you right click, any souls that are out on the battlefield or whatever, if you right click, it draws them all to you. So that way you don't miss any of those. So that's cool. Lots of gold. I don't need that health orb. We're doing pretty good. Alright, back to the action. There we go. Here's a shotgun. Oh. Let's get this barrel out of the way. We need this for a secret. Also, cool animation there. That one took three shots. I'll leave these souls here. That way I don't waste the, the demon mode. Alright, we'll just... Take this barrel over here, as long as it doesn't blow up in my face and kill me. Kill you. Avoid the soul. Come on, get spear. Why am I stuck? Oh, there's a tombstone there. Just go that way. There we go. Alright. We need to blow that up. And there we go. Also, I think that is a secret. And I might have just destroyed any potential I had to get up there. Okay, hold on. Okay, well let's kill these guys first. There you go, you sell those. Yeah, you sell those souls. Oh, okay, well, we'll come back for the other secret. So, yeah, it's a little bit different, but it's also 
a bit better, in my opinion. I like it. Thought one spawned behind me. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the ammo models have been updated. They're the Hell and Damnation models. They look nice. Okay, let's get this secret. Another explosion that we need to do. I honestly thought that was going to blow up and kill me. I think it's that wall. Yep. All kinds of good ammo in there. Alright, so that was three secrets, okay. Um, I don't know where the fifth one is. Or actually... I don't know, I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure that one out. I have played a little bit of this, you know, the older version of this, but I don't remember some of it because it was a little while ago, so... I have to remember a lot of it. These guys are a bit faster. Some of them run, some don't. Oh. Aim for the head. Ouch. Nice. I don't know if that slow mode effect kills more enemies or not, I don't know for sure, but later on when we find more artifacts and whatnot, they all have their own special abilities and they go in all kinds of frenzies and kill a bunch of different enemies and whatnot. It's super cool. Better armor. Well, I guess it's the same tier armor. Bronze. Just looking around for anything that might be secret related. Well, I know I know that that one over there is a secret, so I guess technically I know where pff, I have four secrets are. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Oh boy. Rotten face. Oh lord, there's barrels on fire, barrels on fire. Oh gosh. I was just trying to get the coin. Oh gosh, this is bad. Whoa. Okay. Let's see if this is Okay, no, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're coming up behind me. Oh my gosh. Alright, that was a lot. Alright, that was a little bit better. 
There we go. That was a bit better. Oh. Oh. They like hit you and knock you back or make they make you look up when they bash you with their shield. There we go. Alright, there we go. That was a little bit more of a fight. I like it. Oh, we got a big boy. Ow. I also can't see a damn thing with these banshees. They scream and make your screen go dark. Freeze two enemies with one shot. Oh, nice. So yeah, there you go. There's your first look at the achievements. Oh, I'm almost out of shots. Ow, that really hurt. Big guy's dead. Oh, I almost had a demon mode there. <laughs> That's alright. I don't need it now. I don't need it now. Alright. Alright, let's see if we can go back and get this. I was going to try and use this. Ugh. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Oh, that, that, might, that might work. Oh, it was enough. All right, let's see if we can find the fifth one. It's not a, it's not a holy item. So, I don't know. Look for like a weird looking wall or something. Behind here, nope. Nope. Behind here, maybe? Nope. What does that say? I don't know. Ninja's a lot of <laughs> a lot of nonsense. Oh, wait. This. Uh, oh, okay. This is definitely it. Locate and activate three levers. Oh, okay. That's a different gun. I also forgot to mention, uh, there are two new weapons in this mod as well. It's, uh, it's the, one of them is a gun that was in the alpha of the original game, like, way back, that I don't think was actually part of it. I think they cut it out of the game, and they added this one back in, and then this one right here is a different one. It's like a explosive shotgun sort of deal. I don't know. And I think it also has like a railgun attack. It's crazy. All right, let's find these levers real quick. I said three of them. Oh, there's one. That was lucky. <laughs> All right. Where are the levers? I mean, these things could be freaking anywhere. Let's see if any's in here. Don't see any in here. Let's check here. No. Nope. Uh, let's go back here. Yeah. 
whole lot of nothing. See, there's one in here. No. Okay, let's see if there's one behind. No. What about down here? No. Okay. Uh, is there one hiding back here at the start? Does not look like it. Uh, where else have I not looked? I don't know, let me... Let me see if there's one back here that I might have missed. Did I? I looked behind here, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, I guess let's check the... The big chapel back here. Oh, there's one. Oh, can I get that? Uh oh. I destroyed all the coffins that were back here. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Maybe I can use one of these. Oh, this is not. Or there's one right here. Well, shoot, that's gonna suck if I can't get this. Okay. Thank God. Is there one potentially in here? No. Okay. There it is. Jesus. I did walk right past it. I've been looking for that shit for like 10 minutes. Okay. There we go. Now we can go claim our prize. Nice. Devastator. Okay, there you go. Yeah, it's like a yeah explosive shotgun, and yeah, some kind of death ray or something. I don't know. Super cool. All right, let's get out of the cemetery. Very nice. Oh, I missed two objects, so I didn't, I didn't get a five-star. Dang it. <laughs> Endurance. Take only half the damage. Alright. Well, there you have it. That was the first level cemetery. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one.